Hello everybody and welcome back to Bali Spring. I just finished my morning routine with my animals, feeding them and keeping them happy. And I'm just doing some maintenance work now on uh, a transformer junction box. Which is a little bit, um, yeah, there's something wrong with it. But anywho. Um, so yeah, today I um, haven't actually decided on uh, which kind of uh, thumbnail you're going to see. You have seen it. I have not. That's the thing about the <laughs> doing YouTubing. You never know which kind of uh, thumbnail you're going to use. You have some idea on what you're going to do this day and such on. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, the animals are happy, and I just mowed up uh, the small little field here. Uh, and I'm gonna put some other animals in here. Yeah, there we go. The easy way to get into the build mode. Um, I think I'm gonna put down chickens here. Uh, I don't have chicken food, but we can always buy some chicken food. Um, the reason for that is, um, you know, that there's not that much of production facility on here. And I don't want to spend too much money on buying any production facility. Um, and as I said, we're, we're getting into winter time, but our fields are growing. It's going to be really interesting to see on this sorghum field here if we can, uh, if we can pick up straw. You know, last harvest, I actually, you know, you can do straw from uh, canola, maybe from sorghum, and oats. Uh, because the only thing which I'm gonna go short of during the winter time here now is um, is bedding straw for this big fat boy here. <laughs> And his, um, yeah, his lovers and his babies. So straw is going to be, um, I can always buy some straw bales, but um, yeah, that's the thing. So chickens. Yeah. I probably have to pick up these bales there because they're probably in the way. And I'm going to use my Merlot, I think. Yeah, let's use this one. Let's see, I cannot have this one with me. A, nice, a really nice thing about this guy here is that you, not only can you adjust the weight on it, uh, but you can also lift it. Boop, like so. Alright, I'm gonna pick up the bales, put it in the shed, and... Um, And yeah, the goats, the goats have already started to produce milk. So, as I mentioned in last episode, if you have any great um, production um, facility, cheap ones, um, for dairy milk, let me know in the old comment section. Let's see, there we go. And you know what? Ooh, why didn't they pick up that one? Help window. Uh, unfold loader. Uh, abort unloading. Unload bales? What? Transporting, start charging. There we go. You know what? I, I think I'm gonna start with um, tip of the day. Pretty early, actually. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, if you haven't played on this map, or if you're playing, you you probably know it already. But the thing is, you know, there's there's a lot of these um, fences which you can remove. You can also remove these stone walls. But here's the thing. Here's the here's the tip. <laughs> you know, I was uh, thinking about uh, alternative route in here. So I thought maybe if I uh, remove these ones. Can I get in then? And I'll think, nah, maybe not. But here's the thing. Yeah, I've said that now. Uh, the tip of the day is that if you remove this fence here, you can put it back into place. So if I go here, press L1, hide object, boop. And I thought, no, shoot, that's not gonna work. If you go over here again and press L1, show object, boop, it's back into place. 
So that <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before. I've seen the uh, you know the, um, the function where you can hide object, uh, but not put them back into place. Pretty neat. All oh, these Irish boys or women who made this map. Thumbs up. All right, I was going to pick up these bales and then uh, come back in again when we're doing chickens. You know what? I'm gonna unload bales here. Bam, like so. I'm gonna go into build mode, the fast way. And I'm gonna, we, we need of course the uh, animal, the chicken animals, which is specific for Bally Springs. Mm, let's see, there we go, Bally Spring, 200. Yeah, they are the same and the same price. The only difference is uh, with or without fence. I think I'm gonna go fenceless. Where are the triggers for uh, eggs? Let's go out there. Let's see if we can see any. Oh, there we go. Okay, I need it this way. And they are 6,000. Chickens are cheap to buy. P -p 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 food in there, animal trigger there. Where did I say the egg? Oh, okay, there. You know what? I think I'm gonna do. Uh, should we do two? I think I'm gonna do two. One there. And one there. That's 400 chickens. Should we do three? Yeah, you know what? I. You know, I'm here now, and I'm in a good mood. There we go. I'm going to do three. And what am I going to fill them up with? You know what? I did the test video, and um, it doesn't matter if you put in um, chickens or ducklings. They're, they're going to produce the same. And yes, you can turn off this annoying uh, blue light. Um... You know what? Um, bum, 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 I'm thinking here now. Uh, I'm gonna buy. Should we do uh, a hundred chickens there, hundred ducks there, and a mix and match of small babies there? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, let's see, chicken, female. Uh, let's do fifty twice. Uh, bum, 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 bum. And then, bam, there we go, 50 chickens, and then over here, we're gonna scroll down to duck, duckling male, duck, duck, duck female, duck female, there we go, we got ducks, quack, 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 quack. <laughs> and yes, they are, like I said, um, I did the test, so they are going to produce the exact same. And over here, I think I'm going to do uh, some chicken, chicken, chick, female. Uh, let's do, let's do 50 of these, and let's do duckling female, 50 of these. <laughs> these are so small, you can hardly see them. But yeah, these, these will grow. These will grow into um, to, 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 uh, grown-ups, uh, ducks and chickens. And they will start to produce egg. And on, you know, when the time comes, they will also produce new ones. You don't need to have any uh, sort of um, male into the ground here. So there we go, so now I need, um, po -po -po. I need some uh, food, I need to buy some pallets, and did I have tension belts on this one? Yeah, I'm going to use this guy here, let's go back to the shop. So, here we are, and yeah, I had to bring with me my weight, of course, um, and yeah, experienced another great thing that this waiter can be strapped down which is pretty good uh, because the pallets I'm gonna buy are a bit heavy 
and I don't think I've managed with any of my tractors ever to to lift these properly actually but with this weight here we can adjust the weight so first thing I'm gonna need is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up a, a pallet fork like this I'm gonna lease it a hundred dollar yes I could have taken the uh, big bag handler but the thing about the the big bag handler is um, when you put it on a trailer like that uh, it's really difficult to to pick it back up because the big bag handler straps will go all over the trailer <laughs> so chicken food uh, I'm going into pallets and we have something I think it, the whole pack here is called farm supply pack and there is one there I could buy you know wheat or sorghum the the price are the same uh, but that, that is one there we go chicken feed pallet it's wheat probably <laughs> but it's a thousand for five thousand liter so I'm gonna test with one first and see uh, you know just to see that I can actually lift it let's see yeah, let's uh, try to line ourselves uh, up in the middle here there we go a little bit wider grip and then no, I'm on the wrong tool here, buddy. There we go. And then I need to turn over to this uh, bad boy here. To the weight. And R1 was it? R1 and up and down. Yeah, there we go. So let's start. Uh, let's try to lift it there. What? What? Man, this weight is crazy. No, nope, wrong one. See if I go down to minimum. Even then, I can lift this one. This is 5,000 liter. Wow, this Melor. This Melor with this weight. You know what? You know what I'm going to do next? Um. I'm going to do t two, I think. Yeah, let's do... Oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. Are you sliding again? This for step up. Okay. I'm going to buy... Let's see. I have three chicken coops. I think I'm going to buy two pallets for each. In other words, six pallets. Six thousand dollars. Yeah, we can do that. Let's see if we can buy six out of the time here. Uh, no. Okay, I'll see you in two seconds. Alright, then let's try two pallets. 10,000 liter. Without any uh, adjustment on the weight. Whoa, yeah, that's a little bit heavy, but now, <laughs> if I switch over to the weight on the back, let's see if we can count the weight this one. There we go, yeah. A little bit more, maybe, like so. There we go, and move back to this one. Oh, it's a little bit jumpy, I don't like that. Uh, whoa, it's a lot, oh man, this is not going to end well, is it? Oh, oh, oh no no now we're starting to live its own life here uh, okay let's push that out a little bit let's get it down to but and there you can see it, the the trailer is shift oh man <laughs> I'm stuck now you can see the trailer is uh, sliding you know what I, this trailer here it, I need this trailer here is gone. I cannot live with this trailer here. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> I need to find myself another one. Uh, I need a neutral trailer because there's gonna be a lot of uh, grass and uh, bay loading work on this map. Uh, but yeah, this is not soon gonna fly over the place. But you know what? I, I, 
I totally overseen this guy here. This is a part of the map when you start on it, and I'm pretty sure this one cannot pick up one. Let's try here. Let's widen the grip a little bit and let's see if we can lift up one pallet with this bomb. Oh, we do. Is it only the, the fertilizer that's really heavy? Maybe. And my trailer is on its way down back to the farm. So yeah, I need to change out this. There we go. Sold it. 26,000. So what do I buy? What do I buy? Let's see. Let's go into bay loaders. Um, I'm thinking uh, maybe... It's not here, is it? No, it's on the it's on the trailers. Oh man, this is dragging out. Um, this is what this. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to use that long time on this. Uh, it's this one here. The only thing it could be maybe uh, a little bit long. It's 17,000, and, and the great thing about this one, this is the big brother of the trailer, which I already have. I do have this one here, which is exactly the same. You can configure it to whatever you want, actually. Um, you know what? I, I'm going to try it. I know it's a little bit big, um, but we can always open up... Um, we can always open up a fence or two. <laughs> Let's see. Out, I'm going to configure it out to load. Oh, I don't know if this one has tension belts. Oh, oh man. I think I'm just going to lease it. You know what? It's not only my trailer that's um, sliding. Look at this. The Malor is also sliding. I'm starting to wondering if it's the map. <laughs> what is going on here? It's a bit scary. Alright, let's go in here. Let's lease that bad boy here. Um, maybe I can... Uh, you know what? I can just lease it with a flatbed like so. Uh, ramps. Uh, no. Steel deck. Wooden deck. Flat frame. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Uh, frame. I'm gonna do polished aluminium. Like so. I'm gonna lease it. Du, 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 du. Yeah. What is. Uh, let's see if it has tension belts. Oh, yeah, of course. There we go. Can we slide these into place? Jiggle it a little bit. <laughs> these are st these are soon starting to fly all over the place. Ah, oh, there we go. It's only six pallets. There we go. Get loose. Get some tension belts on it, and let's feed the chickens. The chicken has been fed and uh, I brought my new Holland uh, up to the shop and to the workshop where Mike and the mechanics are fixing a little bit on it. There, there are some strange sounds on the engine sometime. But anyway, uh, it's fixed now so we can close the bonnet. 
So now we need to start on what actually was my intention on this episode. And I'm gonna need myself um, tree harvester. And it's, um, what should I say, it's a cheap Charlie tree harvester, but it's working really good uh, from a tractor. I've used it a couple of times before. And yeah, like um, Jenny says, never change a winning team. If you find something that works, keep using it. Um, let's see here now. This one here. Uh, the Ponce 3-point wood harvester requires 190 horsepower. And look at the cut. Uh, what should I say? The cut um, size. 1000 centimeter. In other words, this can cut down trees which are one meter wide. And that's just amazing. I'm gonna lease it because I'm gonna show you one meter. Uh, but I'm not gonna show you one meter, but I'm gonna show you if we go into forestry machines like this, for example. This is probably one of the biggest bad boys tree harvester we have. Almost 500,000 to buy. This can cut 80 centimeter trees. And I don't think I have that money. The platinum expansion, guys. Uh, 70 centimeter. Six, this one, 65. So if you have any big trees, this these will not work. So yeah, this um, this little fellow here is what I'm gonna use. And now I'm gonna drive down to the hidden, forbidden, but free country. <laughs> You can, I, I'm used to having this on the back. You can probably have it on the front also, but uh, there we go. All right, I'll see you in a second. So here we are, shortly after. Uh, we are at, yes, we are at the BGA, and the BGA is free. Well, the land I'm working on is free, but the BGA itself is not free. I think this is really expensive. Yeah, 875. So that that's not what I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy the land here. And if we jump into the map here and scroll down to the BGA, this one here to buy is zero dollar. And the thing is, you can see on the side there, there's a lot of green area. And yes, there are some grass here. On this area here, we have some trees, which we're going to cut down, and and it's pretty flat and nice. Uh, so I'm going to buy that one, bam, and I'm going to test something, which I haven't, I just discovered, actually. But anyway, um, the other free country I'm going to buy is this little piece here. Well, it's not little, it's like the periphery of the whole map. I don't think I can do anything all the way out here on the thin lines, but on this area here, this is also filled with grass, and it's pretty wide. The only thing you have like a, a stone ridge, is it called a ridge over here? And it's pretty steep up here, and it's. It, it, I've been discovering a little bit about it. <laughs> and there's a there's a small castle also up here. Uh, another area is maybe uh, on this area here, which also is full of grass. This is also included, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, the thing I want to discover now, can I remove some of these buildings? Like this one, for example. It's, it's actually in the way if I'm going to deliver something here. So can we go and demolish this one? Do you want uh, the shed? Yeah, 6,000. Bam. And it's probably going to help on the slot count also. And you can probably, yeah, you can sell these. Can I sell the BGA maybe? No, of course not. But yeah, you can make some. Oh, 69,000. What? And there's also one here. Huh, okay. So, yeah, we got some uh, free money also here. Um, but the area with the trees is just behind her. If we manage to jump over here, uh, we have some really nice trees here. And what what's really cool, well, cool and cool, Mrs. Doubtfire, 
is we have these kind of uh, trees. And if you remember on Silveron, we had these kind of trees which were dead and you didn't get paid anything for these trees. These trees? <laughs> but some of these are really nice chunky boys uh, and you have also some uh, really bad trees like these which I'm thinking maybe I'm just gonna use the tree the one uh, but over here you can see there's a pretty big and open if we jump into here now yeah all of this grass here all of this grass here we can see the ridge here we can see the castle we can mow all the way up here hopefully and also all of this around to here maybe so there's a lot of free grass here uh, it's not completely flat as you can see but this area here isn't too bad and the area where all the trees are are pretty flat so yeah it, there's a lot of potential here um just realizing there's no entry point but i'm assuming that i can remove some of these hedges here let's put out not this one this one let's see if we can find a pole there oh there we go there we go and we got ourselves an entrance oh can we hide this one Yeah, of course, I'm owning the area now. There we go, I got myself an entrance. Alright, let's do some harvesting. Tree harvesting. Now looking at the... Um, I, I was looking at the map and the boundary. I think maybe some of these trees here are not included. So if we go into the map, you can see where I am. Yeah, so this these trees here, where I'm located now, is not included. That's included in this map here. So, the one right in front of us here, we're probably not allowed to cut down. Nah, you're not allowed to cut down. So, okay, now we have an area. Okay, so then we move over to the next line. This one here, okay, that's going to be the first one. Okay, so how did I use it? I, I had a routine with this guy here. Uh, and the routine was to uh, uh, back up to the tree with this one and just touch a little bit forward. There we go. And then unfold it. You see, unfold tree harvester like so. And it's gonna barely touch it. Okay, I should have been a little bit more forward like so. And then, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, turn on tree harvester. Boop, there we go. And move it. Wow, that's a big tree. Ooh, okay. That's a really big tree. Oh, there we go. Did I get. I'm not getting the cut option. Maybe this is also out of boundary. Let's check here. Oh yeah, I'm getting a line on this one. Why am I not getting a cut? Should we just try? Oh, there we go. Lift it, turn it to the side. Like so. There we go, a little bit out. And what do I want? Um, yeah, so for the next step, for picking up these logs, uh, I think I'm going to use the, um, the, 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 the uh, platinum expansion containers, the autolog trailers. Yeah, I haven't used them since, uh, yeah, since uh, Silvron. These guys, yeah. And, yeah, what should we go? 6, 9 or 12? Uh, oh man, Driver53 did a video on this one. Which one was the most... Uh, which one was the best? You know what? I'm thinking putting this on one of my trailers. Should we go 9? I can put it on my new. 
Uh, oh, let's jump into the map here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm getting excited. We can put it on this wall, maybe. You think it's wide enough? We got tension belts. Is this nine meter long? Let's, uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with a nine meter one. So first of all, uh, okay, let's uh, change cut length then to. Can we do nine meters with this one? Yeah! Alright! And of course, I need something to pick up with. And then, um, you know, and when once you have cut down a tree like that, you can, if you can reach, you can just take the next one like so, maybe. Can we get that one? Uh, the big bag handler. Wow, the reach on this one is incredible. There we go. Lift it up, retract it, swing it to the side, and oh, I was lucky there. <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cut down some trees and yeah, I'm gonna get the big bag handler. I think I'm gonna get the big bag handler for the uh, Melor. Um, because I don't have a front loader on none of my tractors actually. Yeah, and then fold it back up and uh, put the logs into the outload trailer and. Maybe it's not the best time to sell logs, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, full throttle there. So I'll see you in a couple of hours. That's why I have taken the liberty to take the um, the time on 0 0.5 right now. Uh, because it's, it's, it's gonna start to get dark pretty soon. As we can see, this is really stable. Uh, you need a 190 horsepower tractor, a little bit stable one, but um, compared to uh, the, the other three harvester, this is one of my favorite. <laughs> all right, there we go. So I've cut down all the trees that I'm allowed to cut down. Um, all of these, I'm gonna use, like I said, the tree devourer on. Uh, but we got, what, 22, what's it, 22 or 23 trees, 23 trees. <laughs> uh, these guys here I was not allowed to cut down. Uh, but yeah, uh, like you see, it's um, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, but <laughs> hopefully now we're going to try to pick them up uh, on a decent way. Uh, so what I have done, I've taken up. Uh, my new least long low loader. Uh, I've uh, bought myself the big bag handler for my Merlot, and now uh, because maybe we can lift this also the container. So container. Let's see. What did I say? I've cut nine meters now, so I need to buy myself a nine meter one. Design forestry. Yeah. Um, uh, does it matter? No, let's take it red. And we need to buy it. But we're gonna get the money back, I think. Or can we lease it? No, we have to buy it. Okay, this is um, turning out to be a little bit costly. But I'm pretty sure that uh, we're gonna get the money back. And I've been uh, briefly looking at prices for wood. And strangely enough, the price fluctuations on wood is really strange. Uh, as you can see here, it, there's not that much different between the best price and bad price. It's a matter of, what, $20 or something. But if you look on wood chip, uh, then it's a big difference between bottom and top price. Uh, so wood in October 2,900, but yeah, I, I can go to the sawmill. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the sawmill. So, can we lift this? Um, or should we try this one? Wide, wide. 
Let's try. As I remember, on um, FS, no, not FS, on uh, Silveron, these kind of containers weren't that heavy. And as you can see, there, there are no, there are no collisions. On you don't have to, uh, you don't have to, you know, hit the pocket directly. He says, "Let's see, <laughs> let's see, you know." Oh man. There we go. Oh, that's good to know in case, because we're, we're probably going to need more of these guys. Uh, let's see the length. Oh, the length is hopefully good. There we go. Uh, what's the width like? Will that fit? There we go. Maybe put it down like so. Slide out. There we go. It's more or less in place, isn't it? Push it a notch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Seems like it's a tag too wide. Oh! Oh! Now... That is fit like a glove. All right, all right, okay. Let's get this over to the forest area. Oh, shoot. Um, what to do with my weight now? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe we can carry this one uh, with the big bag handle. <laughs> Or, uh, if not, I can just put it on the top of the container. Let's see if this one... Oh, yes! 82 Square Studio! You made it strappable. What a legend. Alright, tension belts on. There we go. We are ready to do some autoload. Autoload? <laughs> My English is pretty, is pretty good today. Autoload. How to load logs? Oh man. Alright, I'll see you over there. Alright, for you um, bright viewers out there who has probably noticed this uh, way before me, um, <laughs> I did an old fart farming mistake. This container here is on the wrong way. The doors should be on the back. But you know what? I discovered it when I was driving into her, and I thought, ah, and I cannot lift it uh, with this one because then I'm gonna lift the whole trailer. So what? Before I drive the small forklift all the way over here, I think I'm gonna try it like this. The only thing here is the doors. You have to have the doors open, and there is a steel bar here, so what I'm hoping is that there are no collisions on the on the doors. Let's see here now. Oh, this one will fly all over the place. Open door. Oh, wait, it did move. <laughs> All right, all right, let's try here. Where I'm gonna try with a log here now. Um, I'm probably gonna need to, to clean up a lot here. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, a log? Oh, that's four logs. Woo. All right, all right. I'll take it. I better clean up before in front of the trailer there. but this one here you know I haven't used this one since like I said it's gotta be like a half year ago I used this one I think we just need to drive over there oh there we go boop boop the loaded long wrong yeah so the last uh, little bit there was not nine meters and you can see now uh, one well, yeah, that's one tree actually. Four lengths. 
4,500. Um, so that's gonna make me, oh, for you mathematics out there, 22 logs times 4,500 liter uh, multiplied by, what did I say? 3,000. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna fill up uh, one of these, and we we need to see at least uh, we, we at least we need to get our money back uh, for um, you know leasing the tree harvester, and um, I know for a fact that the money for the container I'm gonna get back. I don't know how many liters this will hold. Uh, we'll soon find out. All right, I'll uh, see you at the uh, carpentry or sawmill. So the uh, trailer is full. Uh, what I've also done, uh, I've cleaned up a little bit, uh, made uh, some bigger piles of logs here and there, and I gotta say, this Merlot here is with this weight on the back and the big bag handler. I want to say it's one of my top three um, setup for handling logs. It's really easy, and um, yeah, logging is fun. <laughs> and since it's, uh, you know, I, I'm lifting like 8, 10 logs at a time, and the weight isn't any issue. Um, I think it was one time uh, logs started to fly around. Uh, but now it's going to be a little bit easier to, to pick up the remaining ones. But here's the thing now. Now I'm a little bit worried. You know what? I should maybe disconnect this one. <laughs> In case it starts flying all over the place now. Because now we need to close this door. Oh man. Come on. Should I save it? You know what? I'm going to save the game. Uh, in case. In case this goes wrong now, I can always get the forklift here to turn it around. Okay. Boop. Come on, please, baby. Oh, man. Like a glove. There we go. Tension belts are on. We got 33,000. So, yeah. That's the uh, maximum. And we need to go... What did I say? Uh, carpentry? We need to find out where it is. Wood, carpentry, or sawmill. Um, sawmill. Or do I want to do carpentry? Where is it, by the way? What's flashing? Oh, there we go. That's carpentry. What's that? Oh, carpentry and sawmill are just beside of each other. All right. Easy peasy. All right, see you over there. And, you know, if I want some more money, I can just sell one of these sheds. Or oh, maybe this annoying weighing station. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, this trailer here, it's going to be big on the roads. So, we are at the Bali Spring, uh, what is it called? Um, lumber yard or something like that. So, I'm a little bit confused here, but anywho, so this machine here, this is the carpentry. So putting your logs here, this is the offloading point, and then you can sell the wood here. Now this one is a sawmill. Same here, put the logs there, sell wood. This one you can buy for, what is it, 50,000? That's all good. You're gonna get your saw, uh, wood chips out there and your products hopefully out there. Now this one, the carpentry, you cannot buy. I don't see any buy point for this one. No, I thought maybe we could make some uh, chairs or some... Wow, that's a big saw. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be this one then. So... 
And you know what? We're on the way over here, I thought, wow. Um, does it take? Does it take? You know, this one here doesn't sell on all different sell points. Um, I know it's working on the sell everything um, container and on Silveron, but on a map like this, um, we just have to wait and see. <laughs> If not, I have to place down the sell everything. Uh, we do have the BGA area, of course. Uh, come on, buddy. Sell. Nothing. Tension belts off. I need to go on to sell wood, of course. Come on. Please work. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop. No. You're kidding! Nothing? Oh man, okay, just for the sake of it, just uh, let's try over here then. I think on Silver Run it just disappeared, so to speak. Let's try here. Nay! Nay! For Satan! Oh, sorry. Oh, man. Yeah, like I said, I know the... Um, what map did I use that one? Well, I know the sell everything is definitely this one here. Yeah, so I, what I need to do, I need to place this one... Um, on the BGA area. Okay, I need to go back. But on the good side, uh, this is, it's going to be a short trip for selling my logs. Whoa, if I can get out. Oh, now I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Tension belts on. Alright. Let's see, I need to jump into here. I think I found myself a spot and you know what? I'm gonna do some demolishing here now. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. What do I need? One, two mega silos and this little fellow here. I'm gonna sell this 32,000, put it in and then we're gonna go sell points and there we are. Yeah, I think probably here. And what I also can probably do, I can remove those uh, fences there, and we can have like a drive through here. Let's see here, let's try it there, bam. There we go. Now oh, this should work, come on buddy. Let us first see now if we can, uh, we should be able to remove these uh, walls there. Uh, 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 hide object. There we go. Hide object. So now I got myself a little uh, road in here. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a great area. You know, now I'm thinking, getting rid of these maybe one of maybe one of this, uh, placing down some uh, productions down here. All right. Well, let's get rid of these logs. And the container. Now we should get... What did I say? Uh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> there is a sell everything already on the map. Um, yeah, this one, sell everything. Now I place down the sell everything container. The price is more or less the same. Um, but this one here. Sell everything. But you know what? I, I'm not going to take the chance driving all the way up there. And then it's not working. I know this is working, and uh, like Jenny says, never change your winning team. There we go. Se what? Seventy-one thousand? What? Wasn't that a little bit too short? I was thinking a hundred thousand. I had 33,000 
and price was 3000 in my head and in Norway that's like a hundred thousand and I got 71 oh you know what what it could be um, what it could be is that uh, some of those trees were actually dead trees and you don't get paid for them or you, you get paid but uh, it's it's not that much so that's probably it um, I, I got a couple of dead woods in there so now it's just a matter of going in here and I didn't see that we got 3,500 for the container. But anyway, at least um, all the lease cost has been covered. Uh, let's take a 9 meter. Let's take a yellow this time. Uh, oh, 9 meter. Oof. Why can't I change this one? Logistics. 4,600. So if I got those 4,600, then it's even less. It's like I got 65,000. Hmm. Alright. I, I, I don't have any clue how long this um, episode is now. But I think we're gonna call it there. Um, I've discovered a free country. Or not a free country. A free area. Where I'm pulling out logs. And yeah, it's gonna be uh, next episode also from this area. I'm gonna clear out the. Um... Now I'm putting it the wrong way again. <laughs> I need to clear out the uh, the stumps also, and uh, the next thing after that, we can start to uh, mow out and make some silage bales and hay bales for our beloved animals while my fields are um, growing. Perfect. If I can make 65,000 per uh, container, I'm good. There we go. Let's slide it in there, buddy. Okay, there we go. And... I'm stuck. There we go. Like a glove. Alright. But thanks for watching. And I hope you had a great week or weekend. And I hope to see you next time. I'm going to pick up some more logs. Put on some music. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.